Okay, as you all know, CIRIC stands for Certified in Risk and Information Systems Control. So let us see what is, you know, what is included in the uh, CIRISC certification. So CIRISC certification is divided into four domains. Domain one, uh, which is uh, a governance, okay. Now you will see three columns in the slide, domain name, relevance to CIRISC and domain weightage. Uh, be focused. Governance is mainly uh, what is governance is nothing but uh, uh, monitoring to govern things through through what policies and uh, procedures. So this domain mainly tests your knowledge of uh, you know information about an organization's business. Okay, and it examines potential or less impacts of IT risk to the organization's uh, business objectives. Always remember that IT has to be aligned with business. I repeat, IT has to be aligned with business. So we are talking about domain one governance and weightage of this domain is uh, in terms of number of questions is 26 percent which approximately stands uh, 39 questions next domain is uh, it risk assessment okay so this domain will you know uh, ensure your knowledge about threats and vulnerabilities that is nothing but threats and uh, vulnerabilities is uh, weakness to the organization's PPT. PPT stands for People, Process and Technology. Okay, and what are the likelihood, chances and impact of that uh, uh, threats and weaknesses? Domain weightage for this domain, which is IT risk assessment is 20%, around 30 questions. Domain three is uh, risk response and uh, reporting. Okay, this domain is uh, has more weightage so it's more uh, mainly focuses on what will be our risk uh, response after you identify the risk and how you will do to the reporting okay so this is uh, uh, mainly deals with development and management of risk treatment plans among key stakeholders when i say stakeholders in each and every individual that is linked to your organization it can be internal it can be external external when you say it's vendors uh, uh regulatory bodies anyone okay this the weightage for this domain is around 32 percent that is 48 questions and finally the last domain fourth is information technology and security okay so this domains mainly talks about alignment of business practices with risk management and information security framework and standards weightage of this domain is 22 percent which is 33 questions so when i say the weightage let me uh, you know tell you clearly the weightage is in term of uh, number of questions asked okay now if you notice a uh, domain 3 domain 1 and domain 3 okay has maximum weightage which is 39 questions and uh, uh, 48 so uh, in total it uh, becomes around 87 questions okay but you should not take it like because it has more weightage you focus only on these two domains never do that each domain here is equally important in terms of C risk exam preparation now uh, let's say if you assume that you will just quickly read uh, you know uh, domain 2 and domain 4 because it has less weightage and domain 1 and domain 3 has uh, uh, more weightage and you'll score that no it's not like that even if you get the question from domain 3 it will test your conceptual understanding of other domains domain 1 and uh, domain 2 so how each question even if you answer it correctly how what is the formula to i mean it doesn't mean that if you uh, answer the questions correctly from it's from domain one and uh, uh, domain two it carries equal marks the formula for scoring uh, is decided by isaka okay so this was all about uh, uh, what are the domains uh, different domains in uh, a series each domain domain one is divided into part a part b okay which is a, uh, under governance you'll find uh, if you see in the manuals uh, uh, isaka manuals uh, part a is nothing but uh, organizational governance part b is uh, uh, risk governance okay and under risk assessment it risk assessment there are two parts again part a part b part a is it risk identification part b is it risk analysis and evaluation domain 3 is divided into 
three parts. So it's a bit wide. Uh, uh, part A, it's risk response. Part B, it's control design and implementation. And finally, Part C is risk monitoring and reporting. Domain 4 is divided into Part A and uh, Part B. Part A is for information technology principles and Part B is for information security principles. So this was all about uh, the different domains uh, in C-Risk uh, certification.